started for me when I was about 12. I had inspired to, to follow and emulate the footsteps, I guess, of Trevor Hendy. You know, he was really my hero back then when, when I was growing up. I, I definitely wanted to be the next Trevor Hendy, but at the same time, I also wanted to be the next Kieran Perkins. I followed that dream of being an Ironman and, and, and trying to be the greatest that I could possibly be, but I still felt as if there was something missing. Um, I still felt as if there was a dream there that that I just didn't feel, and that, and that was an Olympic berth, and uh, just requalified for London. So for me, it's certainly exciting. I'm able to now have that opportunity to come back into the series, ha have a, a proper winter of training for the Ironman, for the Kellogg's Nutrigrain, and, and give it a real crack. I really look up to these guys. I look up to Shannon, I look up to Zane, because I feel as if they've dominated the sport with us for so long. It, it, it's an absolute inspiration and, uh, you know, it, it should be to everyone. And, and perhaps people are, are sick of seeing us at the top. A little bit sick of seeing Shannon at the top so often. <laughs> he is chasing. There's no doubt he's chasing. Last season, he only won one race. We've got to remember that. Shannon's very beatable and he knows it. Look, I'm, I'm not saying that those guys don't have the ticker, because they definitely do. Uh, I definitely think that I got a bigger ticker than what they do. Uh, pretty passionate about what I, this sport. I'm looking forward to racing these boys. I'm looking forward to racing Shannon, I can't wait. To tell you the truth, I can't wait to race Pooley, I can't wait, wait to race Wes, I can't wait to race Zane, I can't wait to race every single one of those blokes. We're all there to do one thing and that's to race hard and, and, uh, and put our asses on the line. We're, we're not there to get second or third, we're there to win races. Yeah.